everyone. Um, I don't know why I love recording in the car. I don't. I think it's just like this comforting feel to it. Does anyone else do that? Earlier last week, I did hint that I would be doing a video on uh, mental health and just why I decided to do YouTube, and they kind of go hand in hand. So it's not going to be structured at all. It's going to be very just me talking a lot, which I normally don't like to do, but it's such an important issue and topic for me that I do want to share it and make sure that those who come to my channel know the reason why I do what I do. And, um, and I hope it can encourage you too.
everything is looking amazing so far. I added a little slurry to make it a little bit thicker. The color is very dark, just like the way I want it. I've never made it with beer before, so we'll see how that tastes like. to pick up some Rita's for my sick bunny. He's not feeling well. It's not COVID. He just has strep and asymptomatic flu at the same time, which is kind of crazy. So we're going to get Rita's. This is our second time this week. Um, whatever the sick person wants. So the first one um, that we got is the Rita from Rita's is the cantaloupe ice with the vanilla custard that looks amazing he loves this flavor and i decided to venture out and try the wild red cherry i just got wow. back from aldi's and every now and then i go there for fun because they do have some pretty cool items every now and then um so let's see what i got at aldi's First up, they have these fresh dill pickles. I love, love dill pickles. And I'm surprised I have lived without them in my fridge for like three, four months now. It looks so tasty. I love the container it comes in. Costco has this type of container style, but it's so big and I just can't finish it, you know? And it's best when it's like, not as soggy and when the skin is still as crispy. So I got some of that. This is new. We got some German pretzels, Bavarian soft pretzels. These were, they looked interesting. My boyfriend really loves pretzels. So um, we're gonna try some of these and it does come with the salt packet, which is pretty nice. And we do have some mustard, so I'm looking forward to trying these German pretzels. Apparently authentic German food. We got some apple strudel. Okay, so it's looking at the calories and everything, it's not terrible. It means 230 for a third of a strudel. Never mind, so that's actually really unhealthy but it has um, apples, raisins, and a touch of cinnamon. So that sounds delicious. Next up, I just got some jasmine green tea. Um, it's always good to have some tea around in the house. So we should just try this one. Next up, we have mild sweet Italian chicken sausage. And it is, it is organic. Um, it's 80 calories per link, which is not terrible. The only thing is it's very high in sodium, but also very high in protein. This, this is always very good for breakfast. Next up, we've had this before in my house. It's the Good Belly Probiotics um, juice. It's actually really tasty. It's not unhealthy either. There's vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium in this. And it's just a really good blend of pomegranate and um, blackberries. Next up, we have Nusa. I call it Nusa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but Nusa yogurt. It was actually on sale for the four pack. Um, I believe this was, yep, three forty nine. So that's actually a pretty good deal for this one. Um, and I haven't had this in a long time. Got some mushrooms and speaking of mushrooms we got stuffed baby bella mushrooms with artichoke spinach and cheese mm, this actually sounds delicious so the whole package is 270 calories which is not terrible i mean stuffed with cheese and mushrooms are barely any calories but i'm excited to try this too i love the one at Olive Garden, so um, it makes me think of that. And just some romaine lettuce. We have some steak in the fridge, so we need to have some type of salad with it. And 
next 81 cents and I, I feel like you really can't beat that you know and it's like perfectly fine eggs so in total everything that i got was 32 dollars, and the most expensive thing was the chicken sausage actually these were 80 cents that's actually really great um stuffed mushrooms were 3.99 usually get that what 8.99 and up in restaurants the pickles were 3.79 that's amazing the shrudo was 2.49 like guys, this is a, an amazing bargain. Like I love all these because of that. So first thing I'm going to say is thank you for those who have been watching my channel and supporting me. I'm already on my way to my fifth upload, which is kind of crazy. If you don't know, I am an English teacher. Um, that is my daily job, teaching little seventh graders to write and to read and all that fun stuff. When I'm not a teacher, I am a creative person. I love being creative, using my imagination to take me places. Um, and I'll admit that during COVID, it was a struggle to do that. Um, I was not creative, as creative as I wanted to be. I mean, for introverts like myself, I figured, oh, this would be a great time to write because um, I do have a book that I've been writing, but it's been put on hold for various reasons. And one of it is just a lack of inspiration. Um, so I was really trying to think about ways I can be creative without, uh, you know, it taking up too much time. And secretly, I've always wanted to do a YouTube. And back then, I really didn't have like the confidence or the courage to do one or start one. But now that I am in a new home with my boyfriend, and you know, there's a lot of time, because you know, everything's virtual learning, I decided that now was a great time to start this new hobby. 
and so far I love it. I love creating content. I love trying to um, play around with the different ways to make a video. Obviously I'm an amateur and I'm not like the greatest at it, but so far it's been um, really you know, fulfilling that creative piece that I'm kind of missing right now in my life. Um, so for those who don't know, I struggle with two major um, mental health issues. Number one is um, social anxiety disorder. I am an introvert for a reason. <laughs> I have a very small circle of friends. You know, I know a lot of people, but I don't spend a lot of time with people. Um, and partially the reason is I am very uncomfortable in being in new places or situations. Um, but it's not just like, you know, going to a new restaurant or something like that. It's like being in public and doing something incorrect. Like, I don't know if like I went to a restaurant and it was like a self-served and if I noticed anyone just looking at me, I would feel automatically anxious and start wondering why they're looking at me and start questioning, is something wrong with me or am I doing something incorrectly? Or if I go to, um, for instance, in college, this happened a lot. If I was ever running late to class, especially the classes with like the 80 people, 100 people, uh, those classes absolutely terrified me. But if I was ever late to those classes, I would stand at the door, of course, like hidden, and I would think about whether or not it's worth going into the class or should I just skip? Like that's how serious it was. I hate any type of attention on me, especially by strangers who don't know me. And if I do walk in late, I know everyone's gonna look at me until I find a seat. And if I can't find a seat, I am going to sweat and I am going to be freaked out. That's how bad it is. Um, so that's just an example of my social anxiety. I really don't like being in uncomfortable places or situations. That's why some, I do sometimes tell people I go somewhere, I will go somewhere, but as the day gets closer, I get more afraid and more anxious about it. And sometimes I do call it off because I'm terrified of the possibility of running into a situation where I'm stuck feeling nervous. And I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but that's the kind of social anxiety disorder I struggle with. So one of the main reasons um, I did decide, uh, decide to start YouTube was I wanted to conquer or just eliminate that fear when I go outside in public. Um, so if you haven't seen my other videos yet, I, I'm carrying my camera around to like record, especially if I go out shopping and I'm doing like doing a haul. Um, I am recording myself picking up fruits or buying that bag of chips and people are looking at me as I'm recording. So I really wanted to overcome this fear of just being seen or being looked at um, and knowing that who cares if they're looking at me, um, you're doing this for yourself. It doesn't matter what people say. And I have really been trying to just overcome that and I'm slowly but surely getting over that fear when I am holding a camera but I felt like this was one way to do it in a creative way and so far I have been able to record and I haven't done like a full-on while I'm eating in public and the camera's in front of my face I think that's absolutely terrifying but I feel with the more I record the more I go out in public the more comfortable I'll feel um another uh, mental health issue I deal with is anxiety disorder with mild depression. And notice you know, I am talking more about it in a bouncy kind of vibrant way. Um, I am making it very lighthearted than it is sometimes because there are really dark moments with these mental health issues. But today I feel pretty good and I feel very um, encouraged to talk about it. So yeah, with my mental health issues, um, especially the anxiety with the mild depression. This usually happens on 
it hasn't been happening as often, but it was happening a lot more in the past two and a half years. Um, I got diagnosed with both of these disorders back in May 2018, so it's almost been three years. Um, since then, I've really been up and down with it, finding the right medication, finding the right therapist, psychiatrist, and really accepting and forgiving myself of having these um, mental health issues. I was ignorant of mental health until I got to my senior year of college. That is an incredibly late age to talk about it or to even know about it, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I knew people had depression. I knew that people were struggling with this and that, but I just didn't understand the depth of it or how serious and dark it is sometimes um, until I finally experienced it myself. I was like, man, this is so real and so many people are struggling with this. So, you know, YouTube is not going to fix everything, of course, but it was, um, it's an opportunity for me to be creative, to step out of my comfort zone and to do something that actually makes me happy because I do need to keep my joy levels pretty consistent and, um, if I am not doing something that I love on a regular basis, I do fall into this little dark hole. Um, and just to make it lighter, I, you know, I become like a potato and I, I never want to go anywhere. I want to sleep all day. Um, I don't want to interact with people at all. And I have those moments pretty often. And I noticed it happening during COVID. Especially as, you know, online teaching, I was just doing the same old every day. There was a routine, but I don't like routine all the time. That's just not in me. And as a writer, you know, I I did have, I do have my book, but it's been on hold, like I've mentioned. Um, but there's just been no inspiration. So without me writing, I really had nothing else that was making me like, that you know, doing something for myself that would make me happy. So YouTube allows me to just be creative a little bit. It helps me. It helps me stay busy, and it helps me um, just think about other things that are not anxious filled. If that makes sense. Like I don't think I think a lot, and I think more than I talk, <laughs> which is why I started my YouTube not talking at all. I was very uncomfortable with that actually. So this video is the first time I'm actually talking and like looking at you guys through the lens um, because I'm not hiding behind the camera this time around. And so, yeah, I mean, this is actually a very big breakthrough for me, just exposing myself and putting myself out there. So if you're still listening to this, thank you. <laughs> I told you guys, this is not going to be structured at all. Um, but I do want to get a little bit more serious and you know, that's why I joined YouTube. But I do want to just mention the fact that as COVID continues to change our lives uh, for worse or for better, whatever you want to think of it, um, I think it's very important to note that mental health is it's serious, you know, it's like a real thing. Everyone should have healthy mental health lives. Um, but I think it changed a lot of people in a negative way. Like some people are feeling more depressed. Um, people are feeling more, um, what is it called? Restless, anxious. And they talk about how kids have become more depressed because of COVID because they're not really building any social life right now. And for kids, you know, that's so important that they need to be outside. They need to be talking to their teachers, their friends. And for adults too, if you are going through COVID alone, you are going to be experiencing a lot of negative thoughts and a lot of unhappiness. So for those who are going through a very rough time right now with your mental health, the first thing I do recommend is that you reach out to someone um, when I was going through my issues, I reached out right away to a therapist and a psychiatrist. Like I, I didn't know what a psychiatrist was at the time. <laughs> That's how ignorant I was. I reached out to a therapist first who directed me to a psychiatrist. Even though that wasn't the great, 
greatest experience I've had with that. Um, I'm still glad I reached out because I started to figure out what I was looking for in a therapist and in a psychiatrist. Um, but please don't feel ashamed for seeking help. I knew I felt a little bit guilty for seeking professional help when I was like, I'm an adult and I should have my life figured out, but that's not the case at all. These are experts. They know what you're going through. And even if they um, don't, they will help you understand your feelings and help you talk it, um, talk or just talk you through the process of healing and becoming better mentally and all that stuff. Um, if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to a therapist, start with just someone you trust in your life. Um, I know if as long as you have that one person that you can just talk to, you're like, it's just the, the act of verbally saying I'm not okay and I need help just really shifts something in your head and you do feel a sense of, okay, now I need to go find help. So I do recommend that you do reach out to someone. Please do not go through these emotions alone. It can get really dark really soon. And if you don't do anything about it and don't think, oh, this is just how it's going to be. Like that's not true. Um, it took me three years to get to where I am right now. And this is the most stable I've ever felt with my um, anxiety and my depression. And it did take a while to get here. <laughs> A lot of healing, a lot of forgiveness, a lot of talks, a lot of uncomfortable conversations for sure, but it's all worth it because once you get all that stuff out of your system, that's when healing can really take place in your head and your heart. So I do recommend that you reach out to someone if you are going through any type of depression, anxiety, whatever mental health issue you are currently struggling with. For those who are not struggling with any of those things, great. That's perfect. Um, I do encourage you guys to be more open and willing to ask questions when it comes to mental health. Please do not try to play therapist when it comes to talking to someone with an issue. Your job is not to cure them. Your job is not to, you know, provide or be their only source of help. Pray for them if you're the type of person who prays. Um, but support them. Just let them know that you are physically and emotionally available for them because that's sometimes all that people need to feel like they have a purpose of still being here, if that makes sense, because you never want a lonely person to feel more alone and you don't want them to feel like a sense of failure if you do give them advice and they don't they don't follow through with it that just makes them feel more bad about themselves so i highly recommend that you just refrain from saying you should do this you should do that why don't you try this if anything it's like you're going to get through this and this is not the end of it you're going to overcome this kind of thing um and if you haven't heard from someone in a while i highly recommend that you just check up on them because god forbid anything happens to them and you reaching out just shows that you care. And I think that's so amazing when someone just out of their day chooses to take time to check up on someone. Um, so if you haven't heard from someone in a while, I do highly recommend that you do. And if you are having any signs of um, suicide or you are thinking of ending your life, please do not be stuck in that place. Um, I know when I went through my first month of antidepressants, I was in a terrible space and I was not willing to talk to anyone about it because I still felt that shame. And I didn't want to admit that I was having these weird thoughts because they did occur in my mind. And it was mostly because of my medications, like it was an imbalance or the chemicals were too strong. Um, hence why i did stop taking medications for a bit because i needed to just like my mind needed a break from medications but if you are going through it like suicidal thoughts please reach out to someone please reach out for help this is not the end of it and whatever you're struggling with right now it's going to get better um it may take some time it may take um 
some steps from you to reach out and to get out of your comfort zone to talk to someone but suicide is never the answer and you being here right now is the most important thing so guys this is why i decided to start a youtube and mental health this is not the last time i'm ever going to mention it um but i just wanted to share you know a glimpse of who i am and for those who have never met before and is watching my channel, I hope you can feel encouraged and um, just find some hope, especially during this crazy transition that we still are, uh, this crazy time that we're in with COVID, but it is going to end someday and we are going to be able to find, you know, normalcy again. Thank you guys for watching this part. I really hope you've been encouraged and I hope you can continue to support me in my future editing YouTube endeavors. Thank you.